What's up guys, Mike Oxfig, X36X, Absolutely and objective. I'm back after... I hate how this microphone, like, falls. Oh, I don't know if you could hear that, but my microwave's dinging. Uh, God damn it. Uh, so, pretty much over this week, I was staying at my friend's house while doing a hockey camp. Uh, and this hockey camp prepared us for a hockey tournament we had uh, this past weekend. A uh, varsity hockey tournament. Uh, you know, like high school. Um, if you guys don't know what varsity means, which you probably should, but... Uh, we didn't do too good. We lost all three of our games, uh, but we played really some really good teams. So, not going to complain too much about that. Uh, I scored two goals over the weekend, in case anyone's worried. Uh, you know, Mike Oxbig did alright, uh, I guess. Two goals. Two goals that I uh, got in... Uh, I got them both in the same game, and those were the only two goals we scored of that game, because we lost five to two that game. Uh, we lost eleven to one another game, uh, and we lost five to two uh, the other game. So uh, some kind of big losses, or one big loss. Uh, I'm not sure if you're familiar with hockey, but eleven to one loss is uh, an absolute blowout. Uh, the running clock, the clock doesn't stop. Um, because usually, like when the whistle blows, the puck or the clock, the time clock stops in hockey. Uh, but since we were losing so badly, the time didn't stop, so the game would get over quicker. Uh, so uh, that's kind of embarrassing, but whatever. Uh, you know, not too bad for just practicing four times before this, and a lot of other teams have played practice all summer and played all summer. So. Oh well, unfortunate enough. Uh, so, besides that, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, talk about a little topic here. I'm not sure if you guys have ever done this, but this is probably one of the more awkward things you you can possibly do. Uh, and I'm not sure if this is a good topic, but I'm going to go ahead and use it as a topic while my microwave's still fucking digging! Uh, that should put it in its place, but... Uh, Walking in on people when they're in the bathroom. Okay, so if you guys are still, or if you're a little confused to what that means, so you go to a gas station, you know, fill your car up and, you know, get some gas. About to drive down to a location about 20 minutes away, you're like, I kind of have to go pee, so I might as well go pee while I'm at this gas station. And, uh, or if you have to kind of poop, I guess you poop at this gas station. But anyways, uh, that guy was just sitting in the corner with a Strella out or something. I don't know. I, he's flying that Valkyrie around like it's his personal private jet. But, uh, um, yeah, anyways. Uh, so, yeah, you, you go into the place and you, you don't pay quite yet for your gas because you want to go use the bathroom. And... This particular gas station only has one Uno uh, unisex bathroom, you know, just for both men and women, just one toilet in a room. And I don't know why, but the or you don't know why, but you know, it looks like uh, when you look at the door, uh, you don't knock because you're like, uh, if there's anyone in it, it'll be locked, right? And I kind of looked at the hand, or well, now I'm. You look at the handle and notice that the the thing the whatever the thing that the door handle like moves it isn't even in that hole that it's supposed to go in so the door isn't really even like the door handle's not even in so that it's not locked or the in the door handle isn't like in so you don't even have to turn the door to open it so I'm like or you're like I keep on this is my story but I'm saying it like as if it was as if it was you like doing it so you figure yeah there's no one in there they'd at least manage to shut the door but then you whip open the door and then there's the I'm not gonna say the F word there's the guy just sitting there taking a dump and you're like oh and you know in those situations I don't even say a word he's like whoa sorry dude and then I like shut the door and he and it was like uh, he was uh, I don't know what why whenever I go to the bathroom especially in a unisex and there's only one like thing I lo I make sure I lock the door or make sure like uh, 
if it doesn't lock to like hold the door handle or something because you know personally I don't I don't want to get walked in on while I'm peeing or well I guess you could only hold the door if you're pooping but I mean if you're peeing I, you get out in and out quick enough that you don't have to worry about it but uh, but this guy was taking a poop though and in the door ugh, it's it just makes this bad situation out of something that shouldn't have happened I mean, uh, you're, uh, um, see, now I'm out of words to say. I don't know how to put it, and I'm just making, like, cookie monster noises. So, but what what do you do? do you, are you like, oh, I'm sorry? I, I mean, I just don't think quick enough. The first thing I think of is shutting the door. Well, not, like, walking in there and shutting the door with the guy still in there, but, like, stepping out of the doorway and just shutting the door. Not even, I don't even say anything. I just, I just took my money paid for my gas and left the premises and just went on with my went on with my life driving my car down the road uh, but I don't I don't know what you guys if you guys ever had that happen I don't know it, it seems it's not the first time it's happened to me I mean there's all sorts of times See, I don't know if people just forget and they're always it's always people pooping that you walk in on too it's an it and uh, I don't know. Usually it's guys too. If it's like a handicapped unisex, or well, if you're in a men's bathroom, well, of course it will be a guy that you walk in on. But I don't know. They, a lot of people feel like they don't need to lock the door because they're, no guy wants to walk in on you pooping unless you. Never mind. Uh, but uh, I was gonna say something, but unless you're like really close friends and you uh, sit in the same bathroom while you someone and you're like. I don't know. I don't know uh, if you guys like uh, go to the bathroom with your best friend and like hold their hand while they're going to the bathroom. I don't. Know. Anyways, but uh, what? Why? Why don't you lock the door or at least like say something? I don't know. It's just it's just such a stupid little gross thing that happens, and you know it's always like older people. This guy was probably he's probably in his twenties later 20s I'd say he was white um, if that adds any de more detail to the story but I just don't I mean, it's probably one of the more awkward moments uh, or the most awkward things that happen uh, to you on accident like when you're not expecting something awkward to happen uh, that's probably one of the most unexpected kind of random things and uh, Key advice is to knock. Uh, knocking solves everything. But sometimes you just gotta go, and that care package almost hit me. You just gotta go, and you're just like, it looks. Like, I don't think anyone's in here, so you just whip open the door, and there's freaking um, John sitting on the toilet taking a dump. And that's the end of the story. Uh, I guess you can say in the comments if this has ever happened to you. Maybe it's only. Maybe I'm just the one that opens doors on everybody uh, using the restroom, so uh, you guys tell me. And another thing I wanted to uh, kind of ask you guys is what series should I like do right now? Do you, should I uh, do the Cooking Mama series for the next, uh, I don't know, time? Or like, there's a lot of series going on right now, or I'm like doing a lot of series, and uh... I don't know what one to like uh, focus most of my attention on right now. Should I focus my attention like tomorrow? I'll just go and record tons of Cooking Mama, just episode after episode, and like uh, start posting those like once every uh, once every other day. Post a Cooking Mama, and once every three days or whatever. Or should I do continue on my LOL series, which I have the stuff for my next episode. Um, but that'd be more of a once a week thing because it takes a while to get the footage and get the edit out the or edit the footage or the, oh crap just hit a picture frame down uh or like crop crop the footage to get the stuff that i actually want to use in uh, the final product so that will be like a once a week thing or and should i bring back the worst player black ops series I, that was my very first video of like call of duty uh, with a commentary, should I bring that back? Oh wow, I just like blew into the mic. Uh, should I bring that back, or you guys have to tell me what I should focus my attention on? I'm thinking, 
uh, recording a lot of Cooking Mama tomorrow and start posting Cooking Mama. And maybe put the LOLs up uh, whenever I get a chance, which I don't know when that will be. Uh, whenever I get a chance to edit it and post it. I don't know. It's, it's just been hard work and um, that's what YouTube is. And you know, school isn't too far off. A month, a month and some odd days, September, whatever. Uh, I don't know what day it is. I go back to school. You know, I'm going to be a junior, uh, taking a lot of classes. And I have hockey starting then. And, you know, I just... A lot of shit starts happening when school starts. And, you know, I won't have enough time for making videos. So, if I don't get enough support on my channel uh, by the start of school, this channel could be over. But that's a kind of a depressing way to end the commentary. I uh, hope you guys liked it. Rate, comment, subscribe, and later.